All right, everybody, welcome. We are going to discuss arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators return the result of a specific arithmetic operation, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Let's say we have 20 students. Int students equals 20. If a new student joins our class, we would like to add one student. Well, if we're working with the variable, we could say students equals whatever students is plus one. Then we could display this. Standard output, I will display students. The current number of students that we have are 21. There is a shorthand way of writing this too. In place of saying students equals students plus one, we could shorten this to students plus equals one. That would do the same thing. 21. If we need to add two students, this would be students equals students plus two or students plus equals two. Then we have 22 students. If you need to add one to a variable, you could also use the increment operator. This is another option. And the preferred way, if you only need to add one, you would say students plus plus. We now have 21 students. You tend to see this in a lot of loops, which we'll cover later. Okay, now we have subtraction. Students equals students minus one. There are now 19 students. We could shorten this to students minus equals one. There are 19 students. If you need to subtract two, we could say either students equals students minus two or students minus equals two. That would do the same thing. There are 18 students. Another option is the decrement operator. If you need to decrement a variable by one, you would say students minus minus. This only subtracts one from a variable. There are 19 students. So that's subtraction. To use multiplication, you use an asterisk. I'm going to double the amount of students that we have. Students equals students times two. There are 40 students. Or we could shorten this to students times equals two. And again, there are 40 students. For division, you use a forward slash. I'm going to divide our class in half. Students equals students divided by two. There are 10 students. The shorthand way is students divided by equals two. There are 10 students. Now check this out. We have 20 students. What if I divide students by three? We're working with an int variable, so this variable can't hold any decimal portion. 20 divided by three, that is six. So any decimal portion is lost, it's truncated. But if we change students to be a double, well then that decimal portion is retained. 6.66 repeating students. If you need the remainder of any division, you can use the modulus operator. Let's create a new variable. Int remainder equals students modulus two. We'll divide our group of 20 students into groups of two. Then I'll display the remainder. Okay, 20 divides by two evenly, so there's no remainder. But what if we divide students by three and get the remainder? Our class of students is being divided into groups of three for maybe like a project. But 20 doesn't divide by three evenly. Therefore, our remainder is two. There will be six groups of three students and one group of two students. Now using the modulus operator is a great way to find out if a number is even or odd. Take some value or variable you would like to check modulus two. If that number divides by two evenly, where the remainder is zero, well, it's even. If the remainder is one, well then it's an odd number. 21 doesn't divide by two evenly. So that is the modulus operator. It gives you the remainder of any division. These arithmetic operators have an order of precedence. We resolve any arithmetic operations that are first within parentheses, then multiplication and division, then lastly, addition and subtraction. Perhaps we have this formula. Students equals six minus five plus four times three divided by two. So what do we solve first in this equation? We would check any parentheses first, which there aren't any of. Then we resolve any multiplication and division. So let's go through this. So we have some multiplication here. We would resolve four times three first, that is 12. Then we have some division, 12 divided by two is six. Then any addition and subtraction. 
6 minus 5 is 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. And let's check to see if that's right. So students should be 7. Yep, students is 7. Now you can force operator precedence by surrounding some part of your equation with parentheses. I'll surround this part of the equation with the set of parentheses. The new result is negative 7. Well, yeah, everybody, those are some basic arithmetic operators. They return the result of a specific arithmetic operation. Hey, if you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this in the comments section down below and pin it to the top. And well, yeah, those are some basic arithmetic operators in C++.